welcome to my channel. This is Michelle Marie with Place by Grace and today I wanted to do a video of my One Book July setup since it's July 1st. This is my first year that I'm trying One Book July ah! and I'm being ultra challenging. Typically I plan in an Erin Condren or Happy Planner and I also carry currently a B6 Traveler's Notebook with a few inserts in it but I wanted to really challenge myself and try an A5 size notebook with a try of bullet journaling because it's two things I've always wanted to try, A5 and bullet journaling. So I said to myself, why not challenge myself this month and do it for one book July? So let me just show you what I have so far set up. I do apo apologize, excuse me, for the lighting. It is thundering and raining outside right now, so this is the best lighting I can do for you guys. So, and my voice is a little raspy this morning because of my sinuses, so that's my disclaimer. So let's get started. So in the beginning here, oh, I got a clear cover for it because I got the notebook, by the way, it's an MD notebook. I have mentioned that before in my post and in a video, and I got a clear cover for it. I wanted to keep it really simple just so I can throw in and out of my bag, which is I think one of the things I'm looking forward to the most is the lightweight and just being able to write and plan and journal and everything in here. So in the front page, I just have a cute little um, die cut with my name on it. And um, I put a Planner Society um, adhesive pocket with one of my favorite die cuts from Miss Moss. The first page is just a simple hello, kind of, I wanted to make it inviting um, to when I open it, I get greeted with um, a simple hello. And then I put here the volume, the name, and then the month that I'm doing in July, just so I can record it. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit, there we go. And then in the second page, I have a Freedom Rings um, America poem that I got from Hobby Lobby a, a while ago. I'm going to be posting my pages individually on my Instagram. So you guys can, if you guys want to read it or um, just look at it, it's fine. I did um, a very simple index page. Like I said, this is my first time dry, trying bullet journaling. And one of the things I did was give myself permission to mess up and not be perfect because that's always been a challenge for me, is to have every line straight, every I and T, you know, I dotted, T crossed, so I gave myself to just be a little free spirit and just let let it go and do what I want. So this is my simple index page. I didn't do every single page as this notebook is not numbered, but I wanted to do the pages of the most common places that I'm gonna be in. This is the key, which I haven't written in yet, because I think I am gonna try um, one pen with highlighting for like the first week of my planning. The second week, I may do uh, my normal color coordinating, color coordinating pen that I use, uh, which is my Coletto and then my Ink Joy. So I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna set this up, so it's blank. Um, I have here my section, which is agenda, which is going to include the July monthly layout which I started and I haven't filled out anything yet. Um, on, under my agenda, I also have my prayer request for the month of July. And then I have um, what I'm studying, which is the book of Proverbs and then what verse, which is a verse in Psalm. And then I saw this on Pinterest and I decided to do it is a vision board for the month of July. And I think I'm going to start incorporating this in my planning because um, it gives you either your huge goals for the year or even your small goals for the month. And so I have a few goals here. And even if, like for example, we don't take a trip in July, I wanna keep on to, I wanna keep it so I have something to look forward to because you never know, we may not say, oh, you know, we won't be able to take a trip this year, but the vision board, if you envision it, it may happen. So who knows, maybe there may be a road trip in a couple weeks, I don't know. But it's just a vision board and it's mine and it keeps me focused and it gives me the hope that I need for the month of July. And then I have here my first week. Um, I sort of messed up on it, but I'm kind of glad I did so I can try something different. First of all, I skipped a page. So what I decided to do is to use my beautiful 4th of July kit from Little Annabelle Plants. And I also used 
another kit from uh, Pookie Bear Cuties as well. So this is what I have. I decided to do the um, squares for the month. My whole, for the week, I'm sorry. My whole thing was to put the weekly layout on two pages like this, but I miscounted the page and this is what's happened. But it's fine, you know what? You roll with it, like I said. My disclaimer for the month of July is give myself permission to mess up. And then I have here the other couple pages that I have for the weeks, which I think I counted correctly, hopefully I did, and I left some extra pages. And then here's my favorite spot, my common place corner. This is gonna be an area where I'm gonna be putting my ideas, my devotions, my journaling, and also a July daily challenge, which Missy Clark from McBee's, her VIP group that I'm in, started a daily challenge. And you know what? I am gonna do it. I've never done a daily challenge. And that is kind of cool because in case I have nothing to journal about that day or no idea that day or just don't feel like writing, that'll challenge me to even doodle a tree or doodle something so that and then may who knows maybe from there will stem an idea or just me writing down something that's on my mind so i'm excited i love love this corner and of course i had to get that vinyl cover from joann's because y'all know i like vintage so i put commonplace corner i'm also going to a pen show in a couple weeks and one of the my favorite gals um tabitha from tabby from planner dweeb she's going to be hosting a commonplace um kind of how-to tutorial and so forth so i'm excited because i really want to venture and try a commonplace book or a commonplace area so this is going to be my commonplace corner and then in the back and i gave myself a lot of extra pages and in the back i did a pen test page this was like the best most awesomeness idea that I have found on Pinterest, I found on the YouTube channels, and all my um, fellow planner and journaling gals to test the pens out. Because on this Midori paper, Tomi River paper, excuse me, it's a little tricky, it's a little weird. Um, so all mediums are really good with it and stuff, but there are some markers that will bleed through, and not only will it bleed through through the next page, but sometimes have bleed it through the second page and like for example the sharpie markers and the um ink joy markers if you press hard on it they will bleed to the other page so we don't want to know that and then in the back i just kept these other pages maybe for more pen tests or whatever and then just here's the back really simple um i don't think i'm going to be putting a a pen loop on here because it kind of fits weird so i'm just tugging it in the back but that's really all i have for now, I wanted to do a quick little video. I didn't want to bore you guys too much, and this weather is not helping. But I will be posting another video next week of what my first week was like, um, and hopefully do a little series um, every week of how my week is looking and maybe some stuff that I've put it in my commonplace that I've wanted to share and whatnot, because I figured this is my first time doing One Book July. I would love to share it with all of you so you guys can get ideas and also my pros and my cons about it so i'm really excited it's so much going on in july already with life and to put on some more challenges it's nuts but i'm looking forward because i could really use the distractions have a great and blessed day thank you so much for watching go ahead and jump on my instagram channel and i'll be posting videos there on igtv and post of different little spots and also tell me what you guys like and any suggestion and comments they're always appreciated and welcomed and as always if you can be anything always be kind make it a great day bye